Barbie is here, so I made a lotion. Nobody, and I mean nobody, asked for this, but I am loving the Barbie hype, and I wanted to make some Barbie products during Barbie week, starting with this lotion. Getting here was kind of a journey. Oh no, my hand is, is pink, is bright pink. But we've arrived, and in this video, I wanna show you how we got to this point and how I was able to make the Barbie lotion of my dreams. Barbie lotion. So I've gotta think of the color, the fragrance, and the texture of this lotion. So first of all, the color. So the color is super simple. We definitely want it to be pink. A bright bubblegum Barbie pink, ideally. The next decision is almost just as important as the color, and that is the scent. When I think about what Barbie smells like, I can't help but think that there's some sort of sweetness there, but she's also sophisticated. So let's throw in some floral element in there as well. So sweet plus Floral. This is gonna be a summer lotion, so I want it to be light and easily absorbable in the skin. Something that you would want to put on yourself before having a swim day or something or a walk in the park. So light is good. Aloe vera would be a nice touch. And with that all figured out, let's go ahead and do this. My waters. that was water. Okay, I guess we're starting with our glycerin. That's way too much glycerin. This is what I actually meant to be my first ingredient. Water, distilled water to be exact. Next, we're going to add some aloe vera juice, like I mentioned. Some sodium lactate. Adds a little bit of thickness to the lotion and it'll also work as a humectant drawing moisture to the body. And last we have allantoin. This is an awesome ingredient that's in a lot of lotions because it's very nourishing and it works to repair your skin cells. It's kind of like a super ingredient. You don't need much, just that much for me. I only use it about 0.5% in my recipes. And these are all our wet ingredients. Let's move on to the oils and emulsifiers. I like to use this wider bowl because it helps to melt the solids in this recipe faster than a thinner measuring cup. All of them 1000. I don't use this emulsifier very often. I really like experimenting around here and seeing which emulsifiers give me what results. Next, we're gonna add some acetyl alcohol and this works as a co-emulsifier, but also a thickener. It helps to stabilize the emulsion and keep the oils and waters together. Next, we're gonna add some glycerol stearate and this works with the Olive M1000 to create a nice stable emulsion. Now to add the really nourishing stuff, my oils. I normally like to add butters to my lotions, but because we want a lighter summer lotion that's a little bit more faster absorbing, we're gonna stick with light fast absorbing oils for this one. Starting with camellia seed oil. This is such a lovely oil. It's kind of a luxury oil. It's pretty expensive, but I love using it in lotions. It adds such a nice silky feel to the lotion when you use it. Next, we're gonna use some rosehip oil. It's another luxury, lightweight oil. We use rosehip in a lot of skincare products, especially face skincare products, because rosehip is known for being great for the skin on your face. But we're gonna use it in today's lotion to add that luxurious feel along with the camellia seed oil. If you're making this for yourself at home, you can definitely swap it out for less fancy oils. Sweet almond oil would be great, or avocado oil comes to mind. And it's fun experimenting with different kinds of oils so that you can see the different skin feels each oil gives to a lotion. But it really does make a difference. So choose your oils wisely and play around. See which ones you like the best and which ones work for you. And for the last oil, I'm adding hemp seed oil, an oil that I personally love, as you guys know, if you've been watching me for a long time. Okay, we have our two different phases ready to go and to heat up, which I'm going to do right now. If you don't have a stove top, a hot plate will do just fine, which is what I use down here in my studio. So I will come back once everything is heated up and melted down. It's 
So that's gonna take about an hour to fully melt down and be ready to combine together to make the lotion. And in the meantime, it's a hot day. I think I'm gonna go and float with kale. So that was a fun break, but now back to Barbie lotion making. So we are ready to combine. Just going to pour the water into my oil and emulsifiers and then give it a blast with my blender. So we formed the emulsion. We're gonna continue mixing this now in a stand mixer. Okay, so we've been whipping this up for about five minutes. I think we have our cream. Let's go transfer this to another bowl. It looks like it's ready to be transferred into a different bowl so it can cool down properly. We want this cool down to about 45 degrees Celsius before we add our heat sensitive ingredients. We have an idea of what the cream looks like so far. Nice and light, not thick. So here's a lotion consistency we're working with nice and light, nothing too thick, but still a very beautiful consistency in my opinion. So let's let this cool down some more and then we can work on the fun part of the lotion, the part of the lotion that makes this a Barbie lotion. <laughs> I wrote in my notes that I wanted the scent of this lotion to be sweet and floral. I have these three fragrances from Brambleberry. One is Berry Blossom, rose gold and camellia sugar. Camellia sugar is the winner. Am I saying that right? Camellia, camellia? Oh, yes. Let's do it. Camellia sugar it is. Putting on my apron when the process is already half over. <laughs> I'm trying to be better about keeping my clothes protected. And isn't this apron super cute? Got it from Amazon. There's a link to it down below. So what we're doing now is adding our cool down ingredients. And we only have a few. We just have the preservative. We have an extract. What, where did my, my recipe's gone? We're gonna be using liquid Dermal Plus today. We're adding some cucumber liquid extract because that's part of the cooling, or sorry, soothing element I wanted to add to this lotion. And it smells like actual cucumbers. Wow. And we're actually going to disperse our dye in here because there's a little bit of water in the extract. A quick note about colorants. If you don't want to end up with a hand that looks like this, do not use dyes in your lotions because they will transfer onto your skin and essentially stain them. And I should have known this being a bath bomb maker. I've been making bath bombs for a while now, but something in my head, I don't know what told me to do this, but I tried using a dye to color this, this lotion for the first time and it didn't, it was not good. Oh no. My hand is, is pink, is bright pink. Back to the drawing board. So I had to redo the whole batch and I used mica this time. And even though mica does leave a little bit of sparkle on your skin, at least you're not stained, okay? At least you're not pink after using mica in your lotion. You're just a little bit more sparkly. <laughs> okay, for color, I have a few options. <laughs> Rosy red mica, little diva mica, prima donna pink mica, and shimmery blushing red mica. Now that I'm looking at these, I think I like prima donna pink, which is this really hot pink that I think will be perfect for our lotion. I'm gonna start with a quarter teaspoon and work my way up from there. And I'm also going to add the cool down ingredients at the same time. 
and we're gonna get this going in our stand mixer for about two minutes. And after adding about a full teaspoon of that mica, this is the color that we get. And this is a really nice, soft Barbie pink. So I'm gonna transfer this into another bowl so that it can cool down over time because this isn't the final viscosity of this lotion. It's going to continue to set over 24 hours. We definitely don't want to put it into jars just yet. We wanna wait until the lotion is at its final state and it allows any excess moisture in the lotion to evaporate so that doesn't get trapped in our jars. Right now the lotion is quite soft. So we're just going to leave that be overnight and I'll show you what this looks like the next day. Look at this lotion. This is so beautiful. This texture is literally perfect and the color, I'm not gonna do anything else with it. This is exactly what I was looking for. I'm matching the pink. So now all I have to do is put it into jars. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll be done. Now the best part, we're gonna test this lotion. I've got some extra on my spatula over here and I have some skin that needs hydrating. So let's, let's go try it out. For those wondering, I suffer from psoriasis so I have quite a few dry patches. So there we go, it's on my skin. Oh, that's nice. That feels amazing. It absorbed into my skin pretty quickly which is good, and it smells so good. It's a sweet scent, but it's not too heavy. It's like a sweet freshness, which is one of my favorite combinations. If you can bring in a sweetness, but it being also fresh and light, that's a winning fragrance oil for me. And my hands feel nice afterwards, nice and, and dry, not greasy. My skin feels hydrated. It definitely looks much more hydrated than before I put the lotion. I would say that this lotion is a 10 out of 10. I really, 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 really like it. If you want this amazing lotion recipe, that's gonna be on my Patreon. A link to that is down below. Thank you to all of my patrons and everyone who supports me on there and also the people that watch my videos every week. But for those who really like my videos, I'm gonna start posting twice a week moving forward. So enjoy that because I know I have been. I've been enjoying making things and filming things and posting things on YouTube. So awesome. Thank you guys for your support. All of you are so, so awesome. Join me for the next video where I attempt a neon fluorescent Barbie soap. That should be exciting. I'll see you guys then. Bye.